This is a rare opportunity. That's what to me differentiates this one from others. So this can be a daunting task. Let's talk about something most of you haven't heard of. When the Christmas holidays came out, I created a video that showed you how a single button could trigger just a ton of things going on. And that's because of the powerful Amazon routines combined with the powerful flick button. Not only could I make all of those lights and different things come on in my home, but I could also take this little button and connect it to other smart home platforms like SmartThings and Philips Hue and my Sonos speakers if I wanted to. Plus I could set up a double click to undo or turn everything off, which is exactly what I did because it was way too much. I'm really interested to see how the new Flick Twist integrates with Amazon, but we don't have any details on that yet. Still, this is one of the best examples of a smart device that works so well with Amazon that it's one of the best. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and I will be doing so today by helping you pick better products to pair with Amazon's voice assistant. I think we all know that there are so many products out there that work with the Echoes and Echo Shows, so this can be a daunting task. Let's talk about something most of you haven't heard of. Now this is a company that has their own hub, plus they have a whole set of devices that can communicate back to that hub up to a quarter mile away from your home. They have a standout products like this finger here, which is easily the quickest way to automate any garage or really any button that you need to press. They have many leak sensors and indoor and outdoor sensors that perform really well. Their contact sensor I had in my mailbox until the Canadian government decided that that was illegal. And I have a smoke and a CO detector that self tests. I have sirens and I have valves. They have a new key fob, an IR blaster, plus a brand new device called a speaker hub. Hello automators. This company is called YoLink. And what I really like about all of these devices is that a lot of them can start a routine within Amazon's app. This is a rare opportunity, especially when we talk about a leak sensor. I would always recommend that you check whether or not a device you're purchasing can start a routine, but a lot of the sensors you can assume do. And their switches and plugs, of course, do as well. And here's the kicker that I think makes this a really good pairing with Amazon. See, Amazon's automations require the internet to be working in order for them to execute. But YoLink has this neat little feature where you can pair a couple of products directly, or actually multiple products directly and when one action happens then you can make something else happen and it all happens locally so it's a local automation backup for really critical things to happen in your home without worrying about whether routines are working at the time. From those serious automation options to things that are more about being pretty in your home. Smart lighting is incredibly powerful and a lot of fun to have. You can look at systems like Lutron and they pair very well with Amazon's voice assistant to control your light switches and other things actually, but I want things to look a little bit nicer in my home. That's where I prefer something like Philips Hue. Although you will require the Philips Hue hub in order to voice control and in order to use a lot of the automation features in routines, this system has an incredible breadth of lighting options for your home. But one of the most important things is that all of the scenes that you create in the Philips Hue app come over to Amazon's app and they are available for you to use in routines and just to ask to turn on any time. What's nice nowadays is that dynamic scenes that you create in the Hue app are also coming across and can be used, which I showed in my Christmas lights special. But this is where another platform has begun to build and create bigger and better lighting products that aren't as expensive as Philips Hue and actually have a few options that Hue just can't match. That is Govi, who have a number of lighting products that are very unique and have really vibrant colors. More than that, they have DIY modes for creating your own effects in their app and they have a number of pre-created effects that you can turn on and off. 
in their app. But all of that comes across to Amazon. And what's really great about Govi with Amazon is the fact that you can turn on any of those pre-created scenes by voice or by routine. This gives you much more control than most other lighting products. And I love the fact that it's things I can just tap on in the app instead of trying to remember the name of everything. Set corner lamp scene to gradient. When people talk about SwitchBot, they are mostly talking about the original SwitchBot device that pushes light switches or other buttons, or they're talking about the newer curtains. But one of the best things about SwitchBot are their newer sensors, including a contact sensor and a motion sensor. All of those sensors can start routines. The other feature that I think is so important with SwitchBot is that their hub can act as an IR controller, which means you can program that hub to be able to turn on and off devices that otherwise wouldn't be smart. Those devices come into Amazon for some control, and there are ways that you can make anything happen with your IR devices by creating custom devices in the SwitchBot app. All of that before we talk about new products like their cameras that can be used or displayed on Echo Shows, the newer lighting products, and I'm pretty excited about their upcoming smart lock. There are a couple of drawbacks with SwitchBot that you should understand, but it's mostly that the responses can be a little slower because they're still growing as a company and haven't expanded their cloud services as far as some of the other larger companies today. It's easy for many of you to look at Amazon and their whole set of companies and see that it makes sense to go out and buy Ring cameras and Ring video doorbells and actually other Ring products to integrate with your Echoes and Echo Shows. You can get announcements with the doorbells and bring up any of the cameras on those screens. There's a lot of ways you can start routines with the cameras and the doorbells too, but it becomes even more powerful as a combined system when you think about ring security. In fact, today you can use an Echo 4th generation or an Echo Show 10 3rd generation as the hub for many of your ring security devices. That's a huge benefit because it means you won't have to buy the ring bridge. It allows you to combine your smart speakers and ring in many ways, and we even started to see how Amazon was going to combine the subscription services like Ring Security and Amazon Guard with things like Guard Plus. When we saw Amazon's little robot named Astro, it became really clear to me how Amazon will continue to integrate these as Ring Security and that subscription from Ring will start to enable more and more services within Amazon's Echo speakers and smart home lineup too. There are so many smart home products that connect to Amazon and their whole smart home system that I probably need to do a part two of this kind of video. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments down below and tell me one of your favorite integrations that works with Amazon. But one of my favorite integrations comes from another company that Amazon purchased a while ago. That company is Eero, and they make mesh Wi-Fi systems and routers that can blanket your home with strong and reliable Wi-Fi. I recently received the Eero 6 Plus mesh system that provides Wi-Fi 6 connectivity as well as wired ports in case you can use those throughout your home. But this is so strong to pair with Amazon's other smart home gear and actually your entire smart home. That's what to me differentiates this one from others because it can affect and change how your entire home performs. That's because it's not just a Wi-Fi system as almost all of the Eero routers have a Zigbee hub and therefore work just like an Echo with a Zigbee hub in it. Those allow you to pair a Zigbee sensor or a Zigbee light switch, a bulb or a plug and then control them through Amazon's voice assistant. The pack of Eero 6 Pluses that I received and many of the Eero models now have a thread border router in them as well. And although those only work with the Nano Leaf Essentials products, that list of products is set to explode in the near future with the introduction of the Matter Standard. The integration I use the most is the fact that I can pause Wi-Fi on groups of devices using my voice or Amazon's routines. This is exceptionally powerful because you never have to go into the Eero app. 
but maybe the most powerful integration is the fact that if you buy off of Amazon and the device says certified for humans and you have an Eero router and Amazon's voice assistant app, when you turn on that device that you purchased, it should just get onto your Wi-Fi and be ready to control. And if you'd like to see more about Eero, check out the video that's up on screen now as it'll show you what that system is great at and how some of those features work. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, don't hate, automate.